Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to talk about doing follow-ups. As we're all working remote, trying to get the things you need from your colleagues, customers or suppliers can become challenging as most of us have to juggle work and home priorities. The last thing you want to do is to interrupt others with an impromptu phone call, but neither do you want the responses to go sideways. And unless you wish to invest in a CRM to manage your reminders, a better way is to do it through email. This is where follow-up then comes in. Follow-up then is the simplest way to schedule an email reminder. If you know how to email, you will know how to use follow-up then. There's no app to install as long as you know how to email. Here's how it works. Now before we begin, do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to get alerts on all future episodes. In every email, there are three categories of recipients. The people you wish to send to, the ones you carbon copy, and then there are the ones that you do blind carbon copy. To use follow-up then, simply put the date or day of reminder in the respective recipient field. You do that by inserting the parameter first. If you wish to remind yourself of something at 3 p.m., simply enter 3 p.m. If it is day specific, say tomorrow, just enter tomorrow. And if date specific, just enter the date. Each of the entries should follow with an at followupthen.com. Using different recipient fields also means different things. If you use the to field, that would send yourself a reminder. If you use the cc field, that will send your recipient a reminder. And if you use the BCC field, that will send you a private reminder. This is useful when you're replying to someone but wish to give yourself a reminder. At the timestamp you created, the emails will surface in your inbox. Now let's check out their notification function. On your settings page, you will find a section for notifications. Here, you can control when you get notified of various actions. Receive a scheduling confirmation after every reminder by leaving scheduling confirmations checked. If you want a confirmation only when a follow-up has been scheduled for someone else, check external recipient confirmation. After you get used to follow-up Dan's workflow, you may want to adjust this to cut down on your email volume. Moving on to the postpone function. For reminders you send to yourself, follow-up Dan will also include a postpone option in the email. So if it isn't time yet to take action, just hit either of the postpone options to push it further down a few hours to a few months. Follow up then is one of my must-have stack of productivity tools. Moreover, it is so simple to use and need not require one to learn a new app. To get started, simply head over to followupthen.com or hit the link in the descriptions below to begin. If you find this video useful, please hit the like button and share with your friends who may find it useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.